So a warm welcome to you all. We will be on the way very shortly once all the pleasantries are complete. The teams then, West Bromwich against Manchester United. I'm Peter Drury and providing analysis and expert opinion alongside me will be Jim Beglin. Well, I can tell you I'm truly delighted to join you, Peter, and, and thank you very much for that. So the two starting lineups. the whistle. Jim, you've played in games of this nature. Who can make the difference? Gareth Barry, I would say, um, and all his experience. You know, what he lacks in pace, uh, he makes up for with his astute reading of the game, which helps him to be positionally secure, and he's rarely found wanting in that respect. Okay, interesting. Can he put it away? done very well to get to that that wasn't the easiest of saves by any means Peter and I think his instincts were well they were just razor sharp Header! oh the keeper's done ever so well oh, much more than a than a routine save for me and, and yet he just coped with with room to spare well this is how to grab a game by the scruff of its neck front foot football with real intent Played out to the wing. Loose ball, who's going to get there? Rashford decides to play it back. Oh, great save, real class. The keeper has shown great concentration there. I think his anticipation pretty much did the trick for him. Speculative strike. Good stop, that wasn't easy. Well, I can only add that he's got reflexes that are in perfect working order, Peter. That was very good to watch. I've managed to get it away. Going for goal! This could fall anywhere! Just off target. Well, when it becomes that speculative, I think it requires something from the very top drawer. And you have to think a little bit more about that. In the end, he's just opted for raw power. Leon. Johnny Evans cuts it out. Rondon. Barry does well there. Alert. It's broken loose. Top save. That shot was travelling. That's a half decent try. Not the cross he had in mind. Kieran Gibbs. Livermore. Looks like a good ball through. Valencia. Aim forward. Valencia has a pop! And that's caused a worry or two. Well, when he struck that, he must have thought it was going in. Such are the margins of success and failure in this game. That was so close.
Morrison with the ball through. Neon. Ball's gone out of play. And it's Lingard. Tries a through ball. The shot's on! No, oh, poor contact. Nothing on the shot. And the chances keep on coming. Barry gets it away. Pogba. Pogba with the delivery. And the half time whistle goes. So we reach the halfway point. Manchester United ended that first half in such a strong fashion. I think we'll just have to wait and see now if they can rekindle that drive and that determination. It's been great commitment. That has to be maintained in the second half. An engrossing half, but we're still where we started. Nil-nil. Manchester United clearly have been the better side for me. Yeah, I know the score doesn't quite reflect it, but if they go about their game in the, in the same manner as the opening 45 minutes, things really should improve. Martial. And some players are just capable of grabbing a game by the scruff of the neck. And his immense talent may just have done exactly that and injected the belief that they can retain their lead this time round. Well, from right in front of goal, there was no way he was going to miss. Yeah, it looks simple, Peter, but it requires intelligent use of space and, and good understanding to pull it off. Manchester United get themselves into the lead. Oh, half-time has been a blessing for this team. You know, what a great start to the second half. Kieran Gibbs boots it upfield. And he's cut it out. Valencia. Who's going to make this theirs? Rashford. Looks to slip it through. Decent-looking ball. West Bromwich uh, keeping their men at arm's length here. Yeah, I just think it's a, a conservative move to deny runners the opportunity of, of going beyond that rear guard. And he has been fouled there. There could be trouble here. But for now, the referee is keeping his cards in his pocket. Defence can get it clear. Hits one! And he's there to make a great save. Oh, he made that look really easy, Peter, but I can assure you that wasn't a, a routine save. He had to be very switched on there. It's a long forward pass. And it's young. Pogba looking to get on the end of this. Not the worst cross in the world, but still room for improvement. Valencia tries to get it forward quickly. Rashford looking to get on the end of this. Really didn't have enough to concern the defence. Smalling. Lukaku. Good challenge, he just stood firm. Rondon. And it's Rondon. Now the pass. Now it's Chadley. Chadley. Yeah, it wouldn't have been the most eye-catching goal we'd seen. Ultimately, the numbers prevented him from scrambling it in. Rondon. Ball's loose. Who's getting there? Should have equalised. Oh, that'll be a major disappointment for him. That should have got his team back in the game.
through ball is intercepted. Tries a long pass towards the front. Rondon. Steered out wide. Rondon with a beautifully timed run. Lukaku unable to make it happen for all his good intentions. Time added on, four minutes. Manchester United just have to run down the clock. Thrust towards the front line. Matic. And time is up. Terrific contest. It really might have tipped either way. The margins were tiny. Just a goal in it. But that was enough. Yeah, and I think after that solitary second half goal, they did what all good teams do and protected their lead. That's where we have to end it.